place I don't fit in. I had a great time in Charleston. The people of South Carolina are the real deal when it comes to Southern hospitality. When we arrived at the morning show, Moms in the Morning, on Chick FM 98.9, the hosts, Janet and Lauren, had made us breakfast. Special. We're your moms in the morning. We're taken care of. Yeah. Well, I just, when I came in and I smelled the man chocolate, I thought, oh my goodness. She calls bacon I, man chocolate. Bacon. That's true. And I thought, oh my goodness, they really are moms in the morning. Aww. That's right. I'm sitting here with my whole regalia on. You do look cute. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You're one of these girls that looks different every single time I see you. In every picture I see you, you look different. Yeah. But well, you always look good. I oh, wouldn't, thank when you. you had walked in here, I wouldn't have recognized you from your album thank cover, you. I Rhyme with Orange. It's just, you have a different look this morning. Yeah, I'm a bit of a chameleon, I think. I don't know if, oh, I don't know if getting up at 4 30 a.m. has anything to do oh, with no, that. Oh, no, you look beautiful, honey. <laughs> you, you look never thank used you to that. so much. Thank you. Where are you from originally? Well, I'm from Canada originally, but thank lately, you. yes, I'm a Canadian girl. But lately, I've been spending my time traveling between Los Angeles and New York. And most recently, I've had the pleasure, of course, discovering South Carolina because we're traveling all across the U.S. promoting my single, Empty Bottles, and my album, I Rhyme with Orange. And it's so fantastic. Thank you. I love the song. What's the inspiration behind the song? Well, Empty Bottles is written about a bad relationship that I was in a few years ago. I mean, bad. Oh, that and it was, I was younger, and you know, I was um, easily led, and I just wanted to be in love like so many, you know, young girls do, and this guy, he led me down all these paths, and I was, you know, exposed to all this badness, and you guys as moms, I can feel you now, you want to, you want to shake this guy, I can yeah. see yeah, your face. Yeah, I want to hug you and take care of you. Stop what I was doing, oh, I, I turned you. around, and I'm like, where is he? We're I want a piece of him. Yeah. So, what happened was... Basically, he exposed me to a lot of substances, a lot of really bad things, and, and, you know, when he left me, not only was I, you know, young and brokenhearted, but I had also developed some pretty nasty habits. And, wow. Yeah, and let me tell you, it was not easy climbing up from that. Does star. he know who he is? <laughs> I mean, does he know he is? If you yes, think about, he does. You think about Taylor Swift, and she's going to all these songs. You do her wrong, and she writes a foul song about you. Well, this is the thing, you know, but... You know, cool. I think the important thing is, mamas, <laughs> is that, uh, you know, I climbed up out there with the help of my family and my friends and my manager. I got out of that slum. And I think the moral of the song is that love, love is dangerous enough. You don't need to add booze and drugs. Right, right. So and and it's a cautionary tale. You know, you gotta you gotta yeah. watch out. You gotta no, protect absolutely. yourself. You have to protect yourself, and you have to know when love is real. A bad thing happened, and you were strong, and you triumphed. Well, so yes. you didn't come out of a bad situation. No. You you were good all along, and you survived, and you thrived. Well, yeah, it was a rut that I fell into, and I got myself out of it with, with the support of. Of course, my mother, you know, being with you guys now, I miss my mom. Aww. But, uh, you know, with, with, it, with these situations, and I'm sure there's, there could be listeners out there now that are in these situations, you just gotta, you just gotta believe in yourself, because you have to love yourself first. That's true. You That's know, true. We have to love ourselves first. And the album, Journey, this is the first single from it, and it's, it's, it's the single because it's kind of a little microcosm of what the rest of the album is about. The album is about my journey to get rid of all these demons and learn to love myself for who I was, accept my flaws, and just say, listen, this is who I am, and I want to reach people with my songs, and that's what I want to do. And that's what you're doing. It's and that's wonderful. what I get, that's what I'm doing, so I'm so blessed here today, and I've got my two best friends playing with me in my band, I'm just, and I'm with you guys, and Marty, whom I absolutely adore, and there's pancakes, I'm sorry, I just died and got, I just died and went to heaven. Well, what could be better, we had all this, and it smells like bacon, or what did you call it, man chocolate? Man chocolate. <laughs> Wake up to a hangover, an empty shell of me, doubles are never a good idea. After one or two or three, a hey. 